And I'm going to say if dollar sign mobile leave PHP and I'm going to go back into PHP <coughs> simply to finish off the if statement with the brace because that if needs a brace. Now what's going to be between here and here? There's going to be the additional links that only appear on the desktop. So, I'll go in here and I'll say link 4, 5, and 6. Now, you don't have to do it this way. I could do if statements or I could actually put these extra links in my HTML, or not HTML, in my PHP page. The idea of this, though, is this: there's one place for the navigation. And that navigation block of code, that navigation include file, is smart enough to output the right navigation depending on whether it's desktop or mobile. This include file is only outputting content. It's not doing anything with the style. How is style handled? With CSS, like style's always been handled. So the only thing really different between this and how we've done it before is we have a little bit of dynamicism here. It depends on whether you're on a mobile or a desktop site, which links you get. So let's go and save this and copy this. Over. Now, on the desktop site, I have four links, or I'm sorry, six links. On the mobile site, I have still three links. But if I go and I want to call this a different name, I only need to change it into one place because that's in the include file. says new link here and it says new link there. Okay, So what we're doing is we're bringing in and we're making include files to handle the common content. Navigation is going to be common, common in both areas. When I say it's going to be common, it doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be identical. Right? That's I think a key thing to remember. But there's going to be some commonality. Alright? And therefore our aim is to keep it consistent. Now, because all along we've been practicing a good separation of presentation and content, we're simply using these include files to deliver some content. CSS will take care of the styling just like it always has. But we can be a little more sophisticated in delivering that content so that we deliver content based on whether it's mobile or a desktop version. Now you could easily extend this to the other include files, right? We could have some verbiage in common on the home page and some verbiage distinct to mobile, some versions distinct to the desktop version. We could change up here in the banner where it says Zeller's Inc. We could put mobile version underneath it if we wanted to. So, we're not quite as good a shape as only having one website to do, right? We have to work a little harder than that. But, we're not developing two totally different ones, whereas if I want to change that first link, I have to go into the mobile side and change it, the desktop side and change it. 
I can change it just in that one smart include file that is aware of whether it's mobile or not and can go in. Now here's something that's key. One thing I want to point out, I may have glossed over this. I can test that variable dollar sign mobile because I've ensured that that variable gets set both on a desktop and on the mobile page. Therefore, within my navigation, I can test that. This include file depends on the fact that that dollar sign mobile variable is set properly. If it isn't set at all, or if it's not set properly, we could run into difficulties. All right, we'll continue on this path next time.